It is bedtime. But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? The, very... the treasured train is on its way. Choo choo! Yay! <laughs> Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver and... Broccoli! <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes. It's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Peppa and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have stolen. All the treasure! Hooray! <sighs> um, what do we do now? You escape. Oh, yes. Yeehaw! Whoa! <laughs> Come back, you naughty robbers. Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. No, we didn't, because, um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly! Whoa. Um, Madam Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh! 
But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> Our train can fly too! Whee! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. Oh. 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 <gasps> Is it a giant? No, it's a daddy pig. And he's coming to take you home. <laughs> Charge! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Pepper? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy. <laughs> oh, my! What an imaginative bunch you all are. Oh, aha! Pepper loves imagining things. Everyone loves imagining things. Today, Pepper and George are playing grown ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown up? Dinosaur! <gasps> George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, uh... Oh, oh, hang all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker <gasps> for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? Silly George, dinosaurs don't go to the dentist, <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. Wow. But you can have a sticker anyway. I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But... I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, the park. <laughs> Stop! You forgot us. Come back. Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> You have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yay! Peppa and George love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. 
What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One? <gasps> midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, OK, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Ooh! Yippee! <laughs> Chicka, chicka, chicka. <laughs> wow. <gasps> it's morning, and we're not in space anymore. Space? <laughs> What do you mean? I think we fell asleep, George. Pepper had a wonderful <laughs> dream about a magical night train. Look, we've arrived at the seaside. Pepper and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside. And they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Pepper and her family are flying in an aeroplane. I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh! I don't think that worked either, George. Mm. Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. 
Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's... Cold! <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. <laughs> Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal 
apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <coughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <sighs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, <sighs> um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. <sighs> I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Nino! Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Oh. Don't worry, me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> 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 
Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's... Mm. Lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice! <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -up 
But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm, <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots <gasps> of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you like, George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling. And he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh. Uh, shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes that are just <laughs> like his old shoes. <laughs> Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today, oh. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! cheese. Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? 
It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr Bird. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Peppa and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Hey! Hi! Yeah! <gasps> Whoops! Sorry, everyone! Today, Peppa and Mummy Pig have come to Miss Rabbit's yoga class. Namaste, everyone! Namaste oh. is how you say hello in a yoga class. Please take off your shoes and find a mat. Does anyone know what yoga is? Is it where you balance on one leg? Or when you bend into funny shapes? Almost. Yoga is a fun kind of exercise that helps you feel zen. Hmm. Which means relaxed. Oh. oh, we'd like to be zen. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start with some breathing. Everyone close your eyes and breathe in slowly through your nose. One, two, three. And out through your mouths. One, two, three. Everyone is finding breathing One, two, very relaxing. Three. But and Emily and out. her mummy's trunks One, are two, making little three. whistle sounds. <laughs> <laughs> now let's do some stretching. Reach up high into the sky. <laughs> and bend down and touch your toes. <laughs> Peppa, Danny and Emily are all very good at stretching. But the grown-ups are finding it a little trickier. You're very good at yoga, Mr Bull. I've had lots of practice. And relax. <sighs> Everyone lay down on your front, then lift your chest up. This is called Cobra Pose. Oh. Is this right? That's perfect. <laughs> but you don't need to do the sounds. Now, place your hands and feet on the ground and your hips up as high as you can, like this. This is called Downward Dog. That's perfect, Danny. You're a natural. Finally, everyone stand up straight, put your hands together and lift one leg to the other leg. This is called tree pose. Peppa loves all the poses. <laughs> but balancing is quite hard. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Rabbit. My tree was a bit wobbly. No need to apologise, Peppa. Yoga is to help feel relaxed and zen. And nothing ah. is more relaxing than a good giggle. Peppa loves yoga class and Peppa really loves love. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh, sorry, 
Sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hey! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK. <laughs> Time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own <laughs> foot bath. This ought to do the trick. Ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. <laughs> Choo -choo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. <sighs> I've got an idea. Pepper is very, <laughs> very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please! Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Pepper is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! 
And this mirror makes me look like <coughs> Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the Twisty Turny Tunnel. <laughs> The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. And what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited ah. to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finished. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. <laughs> In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making oh. orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. 
<laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. <laughs> More token. Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Today, Peppa and her classmates are visiting a chocolate factory. Can I try some chocolate, please, Miss Rabbit? You can, Peppa. Yay! But we've got to make it first. Oh. <laughs> Peppa is very excited to make chocolate. How do we make it, Miss Rabbit? With this machine. Hello, machine. Can you make me some chocolate, please? <gasps> Thank you, machine. Yay! Now can I try some of it, please? Not yet, Peppa. We need to decorate it first. Follow me. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to decorate the chocolate, too. You can decorate one chocolate bar each. Ooh, it looks like a muddy puzzle. <laughs> yes. But don't jump in it, Peppa. And you can add whatever decorations you like from the table as long as it's yummy. Mine is a carroty chocolate bar. <laughs> Squeak! Delicious! Mine is a cheesy chocolate bar. Squeak! Yum, yum! And mine is a spaghetti chocolate bar. Oh. Because strawberry laces look like spaghetti. <laughs> Phew! Scrumptious! Can I try some chocolate now, please, Miss Rabbit? Almost, Peppa. The chocolate needs to cool in the fridge first. The fridge is very cold and makes the liquid chocolate oh. harden into bars. And done! <laughs> Try some chocolate now, Miss Rabbit. Not yet, Pep. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. <gasps> Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Scrum diddly option. Squeak. Hmm. Is something wrong, Peppa? No. I just really liked it when the chocolate was all runny like a muddy puddle. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Then it's lucky I have one more treat for you Yay! all. It's... <laughs> a chocolate fountain! It's just like a giant chocolate muddy puddle. And lots of nice healthy fruit to dip to. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa loves muddy puddles, especially when they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. 
I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet-making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot and push the big red button. Mmm, strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, not sweets! My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier! Yummy strawberries! They look like hair! <laughs> You're right! I've got a strawberry ponytail! <laughs> <laughs> my turn! My turn! Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm... Yellow banana! Ooh, you love red apples! And pink raspberries! And blue blueberries! And green apples! <laughs> <laughs> you like all the flavours! <laughs> so fruity! <laughs> Look, it's a big binning ball! <laughs> That's a candy floss machine! Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Oh. Mm, it tastes like coconut! <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie! And now it looks even more like you! <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out! But I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! Pepper loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. <laughs> A super strike for a super bowler! Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too! I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> Try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh! Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. 
No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. Oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling 